Guys, she just won Eurovision. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, keep doing that. Amazing, that amazing. Okay. <laughs> Flags. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Congratulations. But before we start with questions, welcome here on the stage, Martin Estadal. <laughs> Hi there. Hello, John. I'd just like to say on behalf of the EBU and the 37 participating broadcasters tonight, a huge congratulations to Sweden and to SVT. You've made history tonight, right? <laughs> you, are, you have now tied Ireland in the all-time list of wins. And Lorraine, you were the first female performer to win twice. <laughs> As the tradition goes, I here have the so-called welcome pack that I will hand over to head of delegation, Lotta Furebeck, and congratulate you. This is, contains the information that you need to start think about what's going to happen potentially somewhere in your country next year. I it's the how-to manual on setting up Eurovision Song Contest. It also contains a video of me talking about how to set up the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> but you've heard me say all these things before, I think. And, you know, I'm only a phone call away. Me and my team from DBU will be happy to help you with that. But that's for later. Tonight is all about Lorraine and her wonderful team of songwriters. Congratulations, Lorraine. Well done. Thank you so much, Martin Estadal, and the winner, Lorraine. Now, yes, of course, we've of course we've been here all week, so we know how this works. We've got plenty of world press here in the audience. We've got people watching us online as well. If you have any questions, just raise your hand; we'll get to you. And if you have any questions online, please get them into us. Before we start, do we have any press here from Sweden? Yes. <laughs> do you know oh, what? I'm, yeah. I'm going to go to you first because you were you were there waving, and then we'll come to you after. Oh, Hi, well, hey, my beautiful Scorpio. <laughs> I'm Eva from Expressen. I know. Yeah. As Martin, you said you've made history tonight. Yeah. How does it feel when you hear that, and how does it, that make you feel? It, you know, right now everything feels surreal. Like I, I can't really, you know. I am seriously overwhelmed. So you have to ask me that question tomorrow, darling. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I, I, you know, one feeling that I have in my body, it's like, and it's taken over. It's just gratitude. I feel so thankful to all of you guys. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> we have another question down here. We can get to the mic right over here. <clears throat> Hi, Lorraine. Oh, God. Oh, God. It Guys. wasn't me, man. It was him, okay? So we have to upload the Swedish newspaper. I know. <laughs> Congratulations to your second victory in Eurovision. Thank you. When you realized that you had won, how proud did, did that make you feel that you are the only and first woman that has ever won the Eurovision twice? Oh God, deep question, darling. You know what? Um, I feel I, you know, I feel proud. You're not gonna like my answer, but I'm, I'm, I'm. I feel proud over you guys because. The performance to have it has certain values, you know. We come with certain values. It's the na it's nature. It's, it's a constructive performance. It's about hope. It's about self love. It's about strength, and, you know. And these are things that I believe in. And I guess when it resonates with people, I guess it's things that you guys believe in. And so I'm very proud over all of us. I'm serious now. <laughs> How will you celebrate tonight? <laughs> what was that? How will you celebrate tonight? Well, you know, I've been longing for that glass of wine and arabiata for six months now. So it's going to happen, okay? 
<laughs> they better not close the, the, the kitchen, man. Yeah. Let's have a question from online from uh, Xiaomi. Uh, can you sum up this Eurovision experience compared to 2012? Well, you know, 2012, I, I, everything was new at, for me. Like, I, I was a very naive girl. I didn't know what to expect, you know, and, and so, so. But this time, you know, it's like, you've heard this a million times, but it's like, it's like coming back to a family. Like, hi guys, we've had an 11 year long relationship. We know each other by now. So it's, it's more, it, this experience was more motherly and effortless. Like it was just, it just a nice flow, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. like that answer? Yeah. <laughs> I will ask. Uh... <laughs> I like you. They deleted like him like, already. Like you. <laughs> uh, we, have a, we have a few questions yeah. here. What are the front ones? Hey. Hi, Lorraine. Congratulations. Hey. Hello, my Greek darling. <laughs> so I'm Andrea Papayanaki from Mad TV and EurovisionFan.com, Greece. Yeah. So I uh, have my question is done by Tobe after blooded. So I'm gonna do the other half. <laughs> I knew you was trouble, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, today you've just equaled the victories of Ireland. Mm. So, Sweden and Ireland have the same number of victories. How do you feel about this? I can't answer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it feels, as I said, it feels surreal. But now that you're asking me the question, and I go in and I feel, it feels wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, it is. And next year, see you in Sweden, of course. It better be Stockholm, man. We need to talk about it. It better be Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> let's, not let, let's not let Neta uh, predict the city. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a question from here, please. Hey, Nimrod from East London. In the US, the president can only run twice for office. Do you think no one should be allowed to run more than twice to Eurovision in the future? That should be the limit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you, what's that? Oh, oh, sorry. Was that a question? The limit question? should be just twice and no more than that for future people competing in Eurovision. Was that a question or did... No. I'm was... asking if you think there should be no more than you know? two term. <laughs> In the future, I don't know. I might come back in the, another time. No, no. I, I, I don't know. You know what? I, I honestly, it's all about creativity. Or it's about performing. It's not. I mean, I know the competition is there, and it's it, it's important because it includes everybody. You know, but at the end of the day, it's about it's about creativity. It's about us creators sending something out to you guys. So I don't think. There should be a limit on that. So I'm doing it even more. <laughs> no, so I don't think it's going to be, uh, it should be a limit on that. Uh, you've got to go for the hat trick. You've got to. <laughs> what was, got to. Got what was to. that? And I've got a question here from Yanis Mantis online. Yeah. He says, in comparison to Euphoria, what's the new thing that Tattoo brought to Eurovision? Well, looking at it now, I think, you know, Euphoria was a very mysterious I mean, it's not a mysterious song. Oh, it was a mysterious song, but it's a mysterious performance. Mm, very like, you can not really see anything. <laughs> you couldn't see my eyes, anything. And if you look at the performance now, it's very light. It's like, almost like yin yang. It's very light, it's very open, it's very out there. So that's a huge difference. And I, I, I didn't do it consciously. It was, it was just, it just happened. But it's interesting, isn't it? Like before it was the moonlight and um, tattoo was the sunlight. Both is needed. Hey. <laughs> I see your hand for a long time. Yes, please. Hello, Lorene. My name is Aaron. I'm a content creator from Pink News, the largest LGBTQ plus online media brand. Congratulations once again on breaking history, becoming the first ever woman to win twice, but also becoming the first openly bisexual person to come out as, to win twice as well. It's a big thing for us. So I just want to talk about next year will be hosted in Sweden. How important is inclusivity and accepting of the LGBT plus community in Sweden next year? How important it is? Are you looking for, uh, is it going to be an open and welcoming for LGBTQ plus people coming to Sweden next year? It's going to be a safe space. Are you kidding me, man? I'm all about that. Of course. This whole community is about that. 
this whole community is about uh, diversity and inclusivity. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. But so so absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I can't wait either. Uh, let's go over here. I can see you. You might jump out your chair. So let's hey, continue. My name is Chacha from Yorix Israel. My question is for the songwriters. When you made the song, you you felt that you have amazing song that could win Mellow and Eurovision? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we actually said in the room. I think Thomas said, like, this is a winner song. <laughs> And I, we filmed it while we said it because we were like, we felt it so strongly that this is, this is something really, really good. Yes, please. Yeah, you, you, you. Yes, 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 yes. The second line. Yes. Thank you. Uh, hi, it's Diana. Hi, it's Diana from BC Ukraine. Hey. Um, congratulations. Uh, uh, two short questions. First one uh, from my friend from uh, Kyiv. Uh, what do your nails mean? It should mean something, yes? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, they're made, not completely, but well, they're made out of stone. And I mean, the, the performance in itself has all the elements apart from water. But then again, I'm sweating, so. <laughs> 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 no, so I just wanted to enhance the movements because I move a lot. And uh, this is energy, you know. So it just came to me, really. And uh, so I enhanced it with my nails so that you can see all the movements that I do. So, yeah, it's a spiritual thing. It's a nomad thing. <laughs> okay, a second question. Sorry for second one, guys. Um, we all hope that uh, the war in Ukraine will end in the near future. So uh, do you think that it would it would be fair enough to give the privilege to host uh, Eurovision uh, to the country which is supposed to have this show today but didn't have and uh, the country was bombed exact night when show was performing? Mm? Thank you. My darling, ask, can I can you ask that question yeah. again? Yeah. What so, was the last uh, question? Is, uh, do you think it? Uh, Sorry, I'm very nervous. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, uh, would it be uh, fair enough to give the privilege to host the, uh, your region to the country? Yeah. Ukraine, which you mean like Liverpool yeah, yeah. now with Ukraine? Yeah, but uh, if they were uh, end in near future. So you mean Ukraine hosting? Yeah, in, yeah. In, in... For, for instance, yes. Well, um, Is that a question for me? <laughs> really? Yeah, I think I understand your question. I'm not sure I understand your question, but I think I understand your question. I think you mean, do you do you believe that Ukraine should get the opportunity to host Eurovision in the future, considering they didn't get to? Oh, okay. Year? In that case, absolutely yes, of course. Why shouldn't they? I love Ukraine. I've been a lot to Ukraine. I've had a lot of shows. I love the people there, and it hurts me to see what's going on. Yeah, and I'm we sorry have the for same that. colors in uh, our flag. Let's try and get some questions so. from the back or in the middle row here. You were there in the bright pink. How about you in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hello. Uh, my name is Natalia. I'm from Poland. Congratulations, Lorin. Congratulations to all the team. All oh, right. You deserve it. Uh, my love, you, you told me on the circus carpet that you wouldn't be an artist without emotions. And what was the most beautiful thing that I heard from you that every performance bring different emotions with you. Mm. So my question is, what was the emotion during the uh, performance in the final and then during the winning performance? Was there a difference? Well, you see, I'm a people's person. I feel what, what energy there, there is. You know, you should see me when I rehearse and there is no audience. I suck. I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. The moment there are people there, something happens, like speaking about emotions. And so the people, the audience, you guys, 
is, is like, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so that is basically, you know, the only thing that exists at that moment when I perform is you, if the, to me, is you and my focus on you and sending out whatever's going on inside to you guys. That's the only emotion there is on stage. <laughs> and it's afterwards where I cry or whatever, you know, all the other emotions. But it's pretty zen coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Let's Thank have a question from online from Christian Boswell, Lorraine. You have now historically done it twice. What is the key ingredient to winning Eurovision? Mm, I think the key ingredient to any success is being authentic. And to be authentic, you need to listen to yourself. You need to know yourself. And for you to know yourself, um, you should take a step back. And um, don't ask people for advice. <laughs> No, but seriously, I think that I think that is what you know. Being authentic, I think. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll go to. We got a question right here in the middle. Hey, Lorene, it's CJ from OutTV and the Dutch Eurovision Podcast. I wonder, you over this whole season have been given a lot of awards voted by the fans, including the Out Music Award that I gave to you last week. Yeah. Did that? add pressure or did it maybe give you a bit of serenity because your goal was for you to touch people and inspire people so did it add pressure or serenity mm, serenity i have to say for a moment like you know feeling thankful because that was the whole the whole idea was to you know of course with all creativity you want to connect with people but you know so serenity most definitely but then I shut that thing off and then I focus on my my purpose and what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Awesome. So did that answer your question? Yeah. Oh, Thank you so much. Please. Hi, Laurie. I'm Oz from London. I'm originally Turkish. Uh, first of all, Mama, we love you. Hey. We love you so oh. much. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just have a quick question. Um, you are very spiritual and emotional. And back in the day, you said something about tattoo, that you felt something about that song that gave you the same feeling that Euphoria gave you mm. back in the day. And you wanted mm. to do something with that song. Mm. And you didn't know if it was going to be Eurovision or Metal the Festival. And, no. But you carried on. Yeah. What does your gut feeling tell to you now? Because... I think it's probably going to be true. Um, what my gut feeling is yeah, telling me. Yeah, what do you feel right now about the future? Like, what is the next step? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, my God. But I, well, my gut feeling, oh, God, I don't know what my gut feeling is telling me now because I'm so overwhelmed. But, uh, I'm the type of person that follows where it, where it's joy and happiness, where there is a flow. That's where you're going to see me. So, yeah. Um, and That's... very quickly, um, I do work with um, two brewers in Clapham, and you very kindly sent us a message back in your middle of the festival and heat, yeah. saying hello to us um, in uh, two brewers in South London. Do you mind saying a quick hello to two brewers one more time here, so that we can all of the Clapham South London gays can be happy again because <laughs> <laughs> to two brewers, two to, to two one, brewers, two brewers. Yeah, it's a gay club. <laughs> hey, okay, hello, two brewers. It's me, Lorreen. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, let's go here in the middle. Yeah, and then we'll go to you after. <laughs> so, I'm um, Ricky from Spain. Um, this is your second victory. This is the seventh victory for Sweden and Eurovision. Uh, and Sweden is the third country in the world exporting music to the rest of the world. Why do you think Swedish singers are really successful on music industry? It's a good question. <laughs> 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 
they should ask you guys these questions. I don't know why they ask me. Uh, really, I don't know. I don't know if it's the bad weather or it's, if it's like, you know, yeah. you know like we, <laughs> yeah. if we'd had beaches, we'd probably it's, sit on the beach. It's, it's dark too much in Sweden. Yeah. So that's we're why like, we have to go in the studios yeah. to write music. Especially considering there's only 9 million people living in Sweden. Yeah. But that's a good question. I think it's the weather. I'm pretty sure it's the weather. Yeah. <laughs> we have so shitty weather that we just like, let's hang in the studio, man. We don't have anything yeah. else to do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's the weather. We have terrible weather here. We've only won it once. Oh, well, you guys have <laughs> amazing recently. creators Well, here. five times, excuse me. Once recently. That is a good question. I've asked myself that many times. Uh, but the thing is, uh, I mean, we're very good at, I guess, pop music. But then maybe we're not as good at musicals uh, and uh, rock. <laughs> I'm not answering your question. What time is it, man? <laughs> Sorry about that. Almost, almost party time. Good evening. Hey. Hello, Lorraine and Team Sweden. Congratulations for fantastic victory. Uh, also admire the uh, creativity of the songwriters. Thomas Ries and Kasipaya and all the other all who were, were there. Lorraine, I told you in Malmö, you're sailing through to victory in Liverpool here. Mm -hmm. um, my question now is, since you've won twice, yeah. Johnny Logan won twice, could we maybe see you both doing a project together? Hey, yeah, maybe if you wanted to. But what if he says no? <laughs> Johnny, come on, man. He's like, no, no, can do. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. A ballad, maybe. <laughs> Deal. OK, please. Hi, darling. Who are you? Who's speaking? I'm here. I'm the lanky one that stands yeah. up. Oh, hey, <laughs> you. Um, hi, darling. I hope you're well. Uh, my name is Laura. I run a YouTube channel called Slavandic. Um, I'm basically going to be a fan girl right now, so you mean the absolute world to me. Um, you've helped me a lot through your music. Now, I understand you're very spiritual, so am I, so I get that connection from you. Please. Do you have, like, any like ritual before going on stage with, like, sage or crystals? And any advice on what ones to get? Because I'm clueless. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, different things depending on the vibe of the arena. For instance, today, before I went up on stage, I meditated. So I threw everybody out of the room and like, I'm going to meditate here for a while. Yeah, <laughs> Seriously, that's what I did. That's one thing I do. But that could be pretty boring sometimes, you know. So another thing I do is that I, you know, I listen to the same song. There are, there are, there are these ancient songs that we have because... You know, I'm from the Atlas Mountains. There are certain songs that we listen to. And uh, these guys are pretty tired of that song because I'm listening. It's on repeat. Like, they're like, oh, my God, not this song again. But it's like, so I put a song on repeat just to get in, 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 in a certain vibration, you know, you know, because there's a lot of distractions around, you know. And if you're going to, are you a performer? Are you? A, you are, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you know, hi. <laughs> no, but just to keep, you know, keep yourself clear, you know. At the end of the day, we're all creators, and our purpose is to, you know, to send out stuff, you know. This is, this is something beautiful, um, but it needs to be without distractions. So music is a good way to check out those distractions, darling. <laughs> yeah, did that help? Oh, and some sage, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My name is Shivanka. Dobroho vechera. My name is Sashko from Razum for Ukraine. Hey. Dear Sweden, we are very excited to visit you next year. Oh. Laureen, during our interview, I told you that we are happy to see a second year of victorious blue and yellow and here we are. You've also won the competition twice, 50 years since ABBA. Do you believe in numerology? And as a spiritual person, how can spirituality make art stronger and better for artists of the world? Beautiful question, darling. 
Love you. <laughs> well, creativity is spirituality, if you ask me. Isn't it interesting? What does it mean? We create something out of nothing. That's what we do. It's pretty magical, isn't it? The thing is, when, when as a singer or whatever, as a creator, when you're in that moment, you don't really think, now do you? Where does it come from? It's magical, darling. <laughs> So for me, creativity is spirituality. Where I'm from, it, 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 it does things to us, you know. It's like a powerful tool. It can create movements. Look at John Lennon. Imagine all the people in the midst of a war, right? But it changed people. So art is our way of expressing, and it's very spiritual because, you know, it makes us feel. Yeah. So use it constructively, and collectively we can do some good constructive changes. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have uh, another question from somebody online. Uh, this is from Anna Maria Palea. Uh, she says, Lorene, first of all, congratulations for winning. Uh, what are your next goals or projects now you've won? Well, oh God. Well, there's going to be some more music. Wow. Hey, <laughs> finally. <laughs> and there's going to be a, a tour, a Europe tour, starting November. I'm not supposed to say this. They're going to kill me, but hey. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> and then we have to see what life has in store for me. You think you can plan things, but you really can't. Look at me now. And unfortunately, we are getting the signals. We're going to have to end it there. Sorry if we haven't got to you. Obviously, we'd love to get to no. every single person. I know. We would love to get to you all, but we really, we really can't. Thank we you just, so much. Yeah, we just think that you want to celebrate, yeah? Get out of here and celebrate your... Are you kicking me out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What am I having a nice I'm time? <laughs> yes. I'm We're sure there's a out. drink or two waiting She's for you downstairs, out. I'm sure. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, sorry if we didn't get to you, but okay. ladies and gentlemen, please Serious. give a round of applause for our winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023, Lorene from Sweden. Amazing. Our winner. Thank yes. Uh, thank, thank you so you much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was all we have in Liverpool 2023. Oh, done. We're done. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Thank you to you, Maria, as well. Is, you Thank you to, to you, Jermaine. <laughs> yeah.